Hi guys, uh, we're showing you some more trooper action here, and I love this map, but like I said before, just be careful when these gates open. The plants get released just a little bit early, so they can be waiting outside, or at least position themselves to fire in, and I've been caught out a number of times. Oh, see, there you go. They're waiting for us to come out the door, and they're ready, and sometimes they can be right outside the door, and you find yourself walking into chili bombs and all sorts of fire and die, so just bear that in mind. But it's the first time we've used this guy, we've unlocked him. And we are loving, and I mean loving, the rapid fire on this guy. It just lays down some fantastic, fantastic fire. And also, if you don't finish them off with this rapid fire, I guess you've got freeze assist there, but if you don't finish them off with this rapid fire, they get frozen to the ground. And when they're frozen to the ground, they can't move, so you can just quickly reload and finish them off. So we're going to see if we can demonstrate that and then show you how it's done. Well, let's just get into the action, get used to this guy, and see what we can do. I just can't get over it. Using the headphones and listening to rapid fire on this guy is brilliant. But this is a quick game. That, that's already been captured. But we'll see what's going on. Oh, oh hang on. God, run away. Got to get my act together. Okay. Right. Oh, there's someone else. We just, I just can't, can't believe the rapid fire on this guy. Look at it. Doesn't stand a chance. Nice kill. Right, let's get up there. This is a quick game. That base has already gone. It's gone really quick as well. So we've got a good team here. But, yes. Arctic Trooper. Oh, we love it. We recommend it. If you get a chance to use him, you're going to be using him for hours. One thing we do find, though, it's just a bit of a shame that uh, the smoke bomb and jetpack, well, all your abilities don't just respawn a little bit quicker. But that would make it too easy, wouldn't it? He's not running away from me, not a chance. Uh, he has to be quicker than that, matey. Right, let's get a bit closer to the action. Oh my god, there's a lot of people up here already. He's just standing there, asking for it. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> the rate of fire this guy lays down is brilliant. You're not indestructible though, so just bear that in mind. Got to keep your wits about you, yeah? got to be quick. That, uh. Speaking of the devil, chompers. You've got to hear them coming, you've got to keep your eyes open. They're the bane of my life. I hate them. I hate playing them, and I hate fighting against them. Alright, let's get up front. Like I said, this game's going pretty quick. Alright. Teleporter, let's get in there. God, where is everybody? Dun, 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 dun. Come on, come on, come on. I captured again! My god, this is quick. He's standing there. Next to have to go, go, die. Again, the cactus, you've got to be careful of them as well. You know, they've got some really good die. Rapid fire. Now, if I didn't kill that bee shooter, he would have been frozen to the ground. So then you can just reload and finish them off. So that's a really good advantage of this guy. Free, if you don't finish them off, you at least freeze them to the ground, and you or someone else can finish them off. Take out those drones. As I say in all my videos, take them out, because they can, they can really cause havoc if you don't take them out quick enough. Right, let's get up there and see what we can do. Now, I love this map. See, app, we've got the pea shooter here. He's, ga he's in Gatling mode, and you are really exposed. And you see there, he's been frozen to the ground by our fire. So there's two things there. You freeze your enemy to the ground so you can finish them off. And plus the pea shooter, when you go into Gatling mode, you are... Another great kill. You are stuck on the ground, and you leave yourself open for attack. So this Arctic guy is really getting the kills for us and laying down some good fire. And if we get used to playing him, well, it's, it's going to cause some havoc. We like it. But this playground here, like I said in my other videos, you can get up top and that little red... Damn it. See, drones, get rid of them. But on the playground, if you can get on top of the play area, on that red roof, you can see for miles and cause absolute havoc. You will be spotted. You will draw a lot of fire, so you've got to keep your eyes peeled, but it can be a great place to shoot from. And when this base is captured, you can also lay down fire on the next. See, we are ranking up the kills here. You can also lay down your fire on the next base, so it can be pretty good. And we'll try and get up there, see see if we can, without dying too quick. Plants vs Zombies, I can play this for hours. Game on, love it. Right, don't forget to subscribe and keep looking at our channel, we've got videos coming all the time, games, tips. We've got some product reviews coming soon, because we love gadgets too, but uh, keep checking back. He's dead. We'll see you again, frozen to the spot. We don't finish them off right away. Freeze them to the spot, reload, and then finish them off. It's a really good plus point. Right, it's what I mean. You can see for miles here, and you can lay down 
fire and cause complete havoc. Like I said, you can draw fire, so just bear that in mind, keep your eyes peeled. That's all about the aiming, a lot of this stuff. You've got rapid fire, but we've got to get it on target. So, come on, let's keep going, see if we can get it up top. Stand right up here and see what you mean. You can actually see the next base, and you can lay down fire from here and really cause havoc. Sometimes I sit up here and we've got loads of kills, but it is really about the aiming. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But it is a good place to use. But again, we've, we've drawn quite a bit of fire here on some games. Just keep your eyes peeled. But to those guys on the ground, we are miles away. You can hardly see us. So just get your aiming on target and keep laying down that fire. Right, it's a quick game. The space is going to go in a minute. Just watch your flanks there when you're up here. But you can see, when your cursor turns red, you're on target. Just fire. Lay down the rockets when they come available. And every time you're hitting someone, you're getting someone... There you go, you've got another assist. You're helping, the, you're helping your teammates closer to the base. And if you get in the habit of standing up here, you can really rack up the kills on some games. It's brilliant. And they have no idea where the fire's coming from. Not a lot of drones, normally. They send up a few drones to get rid of you, but it's not this time. You just wait for your stuff to respawn and lay it down. Love it. I can see the base is captured. Right, I'm going to show you another another good sniping place for these troopers. And it's often overlooked as well. People are rushing forward, and it's often uh, it's often overlooked. And if you can time it right, you can. It's like like shooting ducks in a barrel. But uh, we'll get there, and I'll show you. But always double check the bases because uh, we hang back when we're plants and finish people off. Right, if you get up on this rock here, gives you just a high enough advantage to lay down fire. There they are, all lined up waiting for you to turn up. Just let it go. Kill. See if we get any more. Not bad, see, you just lay down some fire. So they're all up there waiting for you to rush up the hill and you're laying down fire well before you even get there. And you can also lay down fire on the balconies. They often go up in the balconies in the house if you've ever been up there. You can, you can actually shoot them from here. Again, just be aware, if you get noticed, you're a bit closer, then you will draw a hell of a lot of fire. But it is surprising what you can pick up by just staying back here and just practice getting your aim on target. And again, while you're not doing anything, just make sure you reload as often as you can. You don't want to get into firefight and find you've only got four bullets. You're not restricted on ammo, suggest they get up there and uh, reload. God, game's going quick. Another capture. Ah, see, you see the plants through there. Some of them hang back, and I do the same. When the plants hang back, because all the zombies think it's safe, they're rushing forward, and you can pick people up quite easily, so just be aware of that. Hang back as a trooper, you've got the rapid fire, and just clean up. There's a few around here that are hanging back, I'm sure of it. So wait and see. Yeah, we're up there on the roof. Let's see if we can take him out, clean it up. Yeah, ah, sucker. <laughs> Got rapid fire, it's absolutely fantastic. There's one of them. There's another one up there somewhere, I think. Yeah, it's waiting. Thank you very much. It's a good plan. If you're going to hang back and ambush people, it's great, but you've got to be careful. As a trooper, you can really take them out. Okay, we really died a couple of times, I think, if I remember. Not too bad. But we are now close and high up, so well exposed. You've got to keep your eyes absolutely peeled. It's okay hanging back. Oh, there we go. Who is it? Cactus, they got some fantastic damage. It's okay getting the high ground when you're further back. When you've got a high ground right in the middle of the action, you stand out like a sore thumb, so just bear that in mind. Right, teleporter. Get up top. Again, see if we can outflank people. It's always good to go right there. Stand it like a sore thumb, see if we can take them out. Again, the base is gone already. This game's going real quick. There's a few there hanging back. Just be careful here. A lot of troopers. Everybody likes playing them. Rapid fire. Rockets and get you to the high ground. Look at it. I mean, what combination do you need for plants vs zombies? Rapid fire, rockets, and the ability to get up high. Ah, see, there's someone hanging back. Let's finish him off. Yeah. Careful, 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 careful. He's still there. He's persistent. 
Okay. You might be persistent, but five rockets in the face is out of the game. But it is a good combination. Rockets. The ability to jump to the high ground and rapid fire. If you get used to playing it, you can you can have some great fun. Doesn't mean you're in struggle by any stretch of the imagination, but it can be a great character to play. We're loving it, come on. Like I said, this is a quick game then. It's gonna be well under the 15 minutes. Right, everybody, I think everybody's going up the other side. Right, got someone in. There we go, yeah. Let's see if we can help clean this up. I can't see a thing. Shooting the cannons, which is fair enough. Sometimes I think it's a waste of time. You just need to get into the enemy, knock them out, and get into that gate. Because you, know, you can get quite easy to get past the cannons, really. Right, all, we've got all our things ready to go. Let's see what we can do. Got to be, got to keep you. Hate them. And he's a hard one to kill. I think an armored chomper there. And this he froze him. He got killed. That's not good. I should have got that guy. Nope. Out. <laughs> oh, no way. I tried to jump, but hit the little bridge of the uh, the hedge there, and it still got me. That's unbelievably bad luck. I should have killed him with the rockets. That's a noob mistake, that is. Alright, we should get up there with the teleporter. You see, when the teleport's done, you don't need to mess around getting the cannons. Just kill the enemy and get in there. It's going to be absolute carnage around here. They're going to be everywhere. See, they're all guarding the entrance, which is exactly what you do when you're on the plant. So it's a case of just fire and run. Blast a path and try and get through. There you go. In, they're all in any way of one. Good game. It's a quick game. Let's see what we did. I think we got a few kills, but it's not fantastic. Let's see where we came. There's me jumping around. <laughs> Pretty good. As you can see, a clean sweep and a quick game. Good team. Not bad at all. Right, guys, let's see where we come. Where are we? Not bad. 14 kills on our team, with third from the top. So you got some good tips there. The Arctic Trooper, Rapid Fire, Rocket Jump, Five Rockets. I mean, if you play him right, uh, it's a great game. So this is OMG from Game On signing off. Don't forget to check, keep checking back, subscribe. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter and the usual places. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you on the next video.